I would like uh, to share the presentation uh, from Stefan from SDB Calda. Uh, Stefan, uh, would you mind if I uh, manage the slides for you for the purpose of timing? Yeah? Yeah, that is no problem. <laughs> you can manage the presentation, yes. <laughs> so you just give you uh, the, the warning when I have to go to the next one. Yes, okay, so thanks very much. So I'd just like uh, to briefly introduce you to our uh, to our program, which we have here to replace our management company. So uh, this is SP Corrigo. Uh, so you can switch to the first, to the next page. Okay, so what we built over the last years is a uh, wisdom. We did it about seven years ago. We built a classical management company. How you know it, for example, in, in, in industry organizations. So we have a multidimensional profitability queue where we allocate every cost block to our, um, uh, yes, to our shipments we have in our logistics network. So we can now we can uh, calculate every contribution margin of every client, of every shipment, of every relation and so on. So we, we have at the, at the end, we have every single detail. This is what we thought. This is the classical management company. Um, you can switch to every set. Um, here you see the different cost blocks. Um, how this is just some images, which costs we have to allocate on our uh, on the shipments. But what is important for you to understand is if you take, for example, if you take one tray, on such tray we have um, shipments from uh, several customers. So it's not just one customer having one train for, for itself, but we have one train with several shipments of uh, different customers. This is, uh, this is a little bit of a problem. So we have a shared production for different clients. And we can go further, Larissa. Um, perhaps you know it, we have an SAP system. And in this SAP system, you see you see different layers, so we have a very complex, very time-consuming um, uh, value flow of our cost blocks over about four, four different layers. So this is expensive, this is time-consuming, and it's not very easy to understand what's happening with the different cost blocks. You can go further. Um, and the problem is, what we have at the end, we have a precise cost allocation of our system, but uh, we have variable costs are not visible. We don't know exactly what's happening when, a, when we lose, for example, a shipment of a customer or if we acquire a new customer. We don't know when we have to uh, to put there another a, a new train or if we can use existing trains, if we have enough capacity. So we can't say exactly what's happening in the business. We have an exact calculation of costs, but we can't say what's happening if we take some business decisions. This is the drawback. These are the problems that we have with, with our actual management. County. If you now, uh, let me the next uh, next page. Uh, if we compare it, if I just put it in here uh, again. Perhaps you know the Yenga game. Uh, you have these blocks, so you build a tower, and at the end you try you, you try you take out one of these uh, of these blocks, and you look whether the tower still uh, still stays or if it, it breaks down. Um, what you see here. Uh, every every wood block is 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 the same block. It has it has the same size. It has the same color, but it doesn't tell you which one is necessary for stability of this tower. And it's exactly what's happening with our uh, management accounting system. We have our cost blocks. They are precise. They are absolutely correct. But we don't know exactly um, what to do with these cost blocks. We always have to do a lot of manual analytics to decide when you change something in your business. Larissa, if you go for it. Uh, thanks very much. So what we are now trying to do, what we are working on, we try to build up a simulation engine which simulates exactly on a shipment base our logistics network. And these simulation instruments, it's like a chess computer. So this simulation instrument, it knows what can happen if you, uh, if you make a move. Uh, you make one move and you know exactly you can calculate what's happening, what makes your uh, the other play, what's happening in your system. And at the end, if you change some business, uh, some business thing, if you change your customer, the model it calculates the whole system and it gives you the answer: what's happening with your earnings, what's happening with your costs. You 
you, you, know, inst uh, you know instantaneously what's happening with the logistics network and you can take your business decisions. That's the way we try to move on. So instead of classical SAP, classical management and accounting, we switch the whole thing into an intelligent business simulation. You can go through them. Uh, if you compare these two approaches together, instead of uh, customer orders or something like that, you have decision parameters. parameters. Instead of cost allocation, we speak about dynamic business simulation. Instead of margin contribution, we have the changes of revenues and costs. Um, and very important, we don't need this secondary posting, we don't need this SAP with the layers, we just have a financial accounting system. We don't need any uh, manage the accounting system, so we can reduce our effort in the finance system uh, to a huge amount. Instead of static measurement, we got direct business recommendations, and we want to work in actual and at low cost. So this is the main advantage we try to uh, uh, we try to achieve with our new uh, stimulation engine. If you go through the Larissa, uh, you see this at the um, you see this at the, at the IT architecture on the left side, you just have a financial accounting system. On the right side, you have your uh, operating systems to make your, uh, your planning of resources, your scheduling of resources, and in the middle, you have an intelligent business simulation engine that, uh, uh, that integrates these two sides. Uh, on the one side, the, the measurement, the, the financial measurement of, of uh, uh, of changes of earnings and costs on the right side, direct input in business decisions. So that's the uh, that's the goal we want to pull, and um, we have some prototypes actually already working for our logistics network. And I hope next uh, next slide. Uh, okay, there is no next slide. Okay, but what we have there we have a lot of. Um, we see on the theoretical side we have uh, we can simulate a lot of uh, improvements in the system. For example, we can uh, introduce in the shipments of our if we uh, if we place the shipments of our customers in an intelligent way, uh, we see that we can improve the, uh, the usage of our assets by more than forty percent. So um, following this way of doing business. We, go, we get a huge improvement potential on the business side. And on the other side, we want to replace our management accounting by such a simulation engine, and we can reduce uh, the, the, the workload we have on the finance side by a tremendous approach. And on the other side, we have uh, uh, finance and business gets closer together. And so we invest now in people that are coming from the data coming from a background of data science and less from accounting science. So that's the way we try to go and improve our business. So thanks very much for your attention. Well, Stefan, thank you so much for your presentation. Uh, now we have a time for Q&A very, very quickly. So do we have any questions from anyone? Uh, uh, Stefan. May I ask a question about uh, which uh, simulation technology was used? It was, uh, I suppose it was optimization techniques by, based on uh, maximum and minimum some targets and uh, there was yeah. a mathematical model, yes? Yeah, yeah. We, were, we are using, we, were, we have some operation, operation research specialists and they use several they use different models, but for example logistics networks this is a multi-commodity flow model, so with optimi optimization technologies behind. So it depends on the questions. There are we use different modules for different business questions, and and each module uses some other technique. But the most time there are optimization uh, techniques. Um, you could find find um, the best the best solution, and you can introduce the way how you want to optimize your situation, for example, time optimization, cost optimization, so you can use different approaches you want to Yes, wanna uh, thank you very much, yes, and it was self-cocked, I suppose, yeah, so algorithms, yeah. Uh, algorithms here yeah, for each section of business was uh, uh, prepared uh, just exactly to solve any particular problem, yes? Yes, exactly, 
We cannot buy it uh, at the moment. There doesn't exist uh, such a thing. So you have to build it on your own. But it doesn't yes. take a lot of, uh, of money. It needs, we have two specialists on uh, the operation research side that are building. And discuss it, of course, with the business together. Thank you.